Hi there, this is Erica from the Davy Institute. This video is part one in a three-part series in which I am going to show you how to work with a mobile data collector that is used for collecting data in the field for iTree Eco projects. The mobile data collector can be used for complete inventory or plot-based projects. Projects can be conducted using a web-enabled mobile device this functionality is a web-based inventory data collection form, not an app that you have to download. This means that the only requirement is a device with a web browser that is HTML5 compatible. Compatible browsers include most recent versions of Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Internet Explorer is limited by its ability to cache data offline and requires users to maintain connectivity. Refer to the manual for more details, which can be found at itreetools.org. You'll go to the resource, and then you can go to the manuals through that link, and you'll want to do the itree eco version 6 user's manual. You can easily find you know, control F and then go to mobile data collector, and you can find those sections that talk about this option. All right, now let's get into how to use the mobile data collector for an eco project. After you have created a project, you will need to submit your project to the mobile device so that you can have access to the web form. Please make sure that you don't confuse submitting a project to the mobile device with submitting a project for processing. So if you're going to submit a project for processing, there's this button on the reports tab. To submit a project to the mobile device, you're going to be on the data tab, and then you're going to click on submit to mobile, and this, this form will come up. This is after you have created your project and defined, if it is a plot-based project, what your categories are, what your strata are. Um, there are videos about creating projects on the website, so take a, take a look at those. So, to submit your project to a mobile device, you're on the data tab, you hit submit to mobile. You are then going to input your email, create a password, and you need to select, this is for sample plot-based projects. So, you can choose to select either all the plots, you can choose to select just the completed plots, or you can choose to select all of the incomplete plots. This button here selects them all. You also have the option of choosing specific plots by clicking on these boxes here to the left of the ID column. Once you've chosen which plots to submit to the mobile application, you will click on the Submit Project button. Now, if you are going to be doing an inventory project, the system is similar. So Data tab, Submit to Mobile. Get your email in there and your password. Since this is a newly created inventory project that does not have data in it yet, your next step would be to click on the Submit Project button. If there was data listed here and you needed to make changes to that data, you can either click on the Select All box or you would choose which trees to submit by clicking on the boxes to the left of the ID column as I demonstrated for the sample project and then click the Submit Project button. So once you have submitted your project, you will then receive an email with a link that will allow you to access the mobile data collection form associated with your project. In the next video, I'm going to go through how to use the mobile data collector in the field. Thanks for watching, and remember, as always, if you need help, um, you can email us at itreetools.org. And remember the many resources we have up on the website. Under the Resources tab, 
you can connect to everything through here. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.